Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Guitar Builder Guys. Today we have a very simple project. Uh, somebody, who will remain nameless, we don't know who, <laughs> has broken the pin off of their acoustic guitar. So we are going to replace not only that pin, but because it's very inexpensive at the center of instruments that I can't name, they don't sponsor us. Um, looking at you. Sponsorships accepted. Uh, we do have a new set of pins. We are going to be using my favorite strings, which are the Ernie Ball Earthwood. Um, Ernie Ball, sponsorship. I prefer the, pho the Phosphor Bronze, uh, only because I'm a, a fancy basic bitch. I does everything. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do our usual basic cleaning. You've all seen that before. Uh, polishing of the frets. We don't need to do any work on the edges because this old thing actually used to be mine before I gave it to my cohort in action. Obviously this one's not tuned right now. I was trying to get ahead of things. So we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna start cutting strings. And oh, by the way, <laughs> when cutting your strings, always look away, close your eyes. You don't, you, you don't really have to. I'm just doing that to tease Alex from one of our videos, because he thought he was going to get hit with the strings. <laughs> as long as you have the tension released, never cut your strings when there's tension on your neck. It's just not polite. It will F some things up. And also, by the way, are these still the original strings? Yes. That were on this one? Okay, then. Well. Yes. <laughs> Now we know that. Now we have two different kinds of string pullers here. You don't need technically one. You can pull them with pliers or whatnot. But the safest way is with a pin puller. Um, I have this little fancy one that looks like a little guitar. And you just slide underneath the pin and pry up. And wow, those are game over. So you can do it that way, or... I was like, no, no, I didn't do nothing, it's all you do. Or, <laughs> um, I, am, I am a firm believer in less tools, more action. So I do have, Theodero, argue with me, comments, like, subscribe below, um, how you pronounce that. I've heard Diodario, Diodio, but Amari. I like this because this is my string snipper, my winder, and pin puller all in one tool. So now I'm only taking one tool slot. This one works a little differently where you actually come underneath. Yeah, let me move my hands so you can see. Huh. Hey, that was, that looked. A lot more aggressive, too. <laughs> uh, some people will just slide in the middle and pull straight up. I don't know who put these pins in or if you... they got pulled in by the kids. Oh, um, pulled in? <laughs> well, like, if the kids push oh, like them, push in, them har in harder. Because wow. I usually don't push that hard on a pin. If you look at this happy pin here, it's actually bent. Like, yeah, no, yeah. The, no, the, the, the pin itself is bent. Um, this one looks higher up than the other. I mean, the other than the first. The... Yeah, which is nice. Oh, here we go. And then shameless plug. My friend Maya has a book called The Sovereign. It's a superhero novel. Uh, it is available at Barnes & Noble. It's available uh, for the Kindle e-reader. Uh, buy it. Buy it. Over. I heard. Buy it. <laughs> and then when people really get them in there, 
you get to have a fun time trying to get them out. That's the problem I have with the one all the way in the back. But the addition of other. It's a piece of the <laughs> one that we're trying to get out that is. Hey, we get a double whammy. That thing is oh, snap, that, my dude. <laughs> I'm finding fossils. Yes, it's out! Reaching most people with bridge pins, when you reach inside your guitar, if you can fit in there, that drills right through. The pin hangs out the bottom. And how they're actually designed to work is when the pin is in, the ball end of your pin holds the string so it doesn't pull out. So now we have fun with this one. So if it gets stuck in there, you're telling it, you just, you know, take your hand in there and give it a good old time? Yeah, you give it the, you know, <laughs> the reach around. Get in there, guys, and be Well, Like I said, when all else fails. Is that a sort of a needle nose? <laughs> your needle nose. Oh yeah, it comes can out. Can pull the pin out. Again, a fan of multi-purpose tools. <laughs> oh, my nose is running. These are made by Milwaukee. They are your needle nose, wire cutters, and wire strippers all in one. Still getting multiple tools. I was doing some work at my work, <laughs> um, which I think you're supposed to do work there. But anyway, uh, I was doing, instead of my chef work that I was supposed to be doing, I was doing some maintenance work, so I had to bring all of my tools in. <laughs> A two-in-one. Now I'm just removing these uh, strings up here. Because these strings are probably as old as Alan. Why, when you got them, you didn't take them off either? <laughs> well, these are, I don't even think they make them anymore. Again, comment with, these are, were called red copper strings. Um, and I really liked the way they sounded on this specific guitar. So, I'm one of those hoity-toits. If anybody needs to know, <laughs> uh, I don't use the same brand of strings on all of my guitars. I find the brand that I like the sound of, but I will be honest, it is usually Ernie Balls or Diodero for the strings. Um, I do like the way most of those sound. I'm also going to be honest, I do have a set of elixirs on so one of. On one of my string or on one of my electrics, um, but I'm probably going to change them. I did not like the way they sounded. The coating <laughs> feels a little weird to me. Yeah. Um, but I bought them because they were out, and inherently I am cheap. All right. So now that we have all that off, I'm just going to do our usual on the frets. Just a quick light polish on them. I think these may actually need a recrowning. And a leveling. But that's a different video. Yeah. <laughs> so we will recondition the frets. Don't don't everybody freak out. <laughs> Right now, I'm just trying to get some of the grime. I don't even need to polish the. I mean, look at that. I know. This is half the box. I think I uh, lost that bottom knee string, probably a couple months after I got it from you. I just kind of just so it it sat that long. Yeah. Because you, you, you had, had this for... since before Alex Jr. Yes. was even born. Yeah. So this has sat for. Ten years? Yeah. Is that how they use now? No, it was like right after Angela and Angela's so about ten years. Yeah. 
I never really like play acoustic too often. It was just kind of there. I was like, yeah, I'll play it when I fix it. I just never fixed it. For those who don't know, Alex does have five kids. Um, he's a he's a, he's a decent father. He tries. He supports his family. Um, follow his Twitch stream and support him uh, so that he can help support his family. That is how he makes a living. Uh, his Twitch stream is Ben Taco Six Six Six. Join the Taco Army. <laughs> it's Ben Six 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 Taco. But good. It's, it's fine. Hey, hey, they're all there. <laughs> it's all right. We'll just decode quick. it. We'll just decode it. <laughs> quick, quick. Anybody, anybody who who can jump on right now. <laughs> Go make one. And, and and get the name Ben Taco Six Six Six. And and then you can have all of the support. <laughs> just go steal them. You give uh, support for five kids. <laughs> You're like yes. Everybody out there, Sunday after Valentine's Day, 2023, 90s night. Ben Six 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 Taco, join the Taco Army. Oh yeah. Uh nineties night. I will be singing and playing guitar. Um. We can have a whole unplugged Nirvana. You don't know. We oh yeah, we, we, that was nineties. It was. <laughs> it was. Now. So be there or be square. Oh yeah. Now. When you buy a set of pins, you always get. Seven pins. Okay. Can't you lose one? And then the eighth pin is the secret pin. A lot of people don't know. This larger pin on some older style acoustics and parlor style acoustics when you're, I'm going to play a little guitar. Yeah. Look at me, I met Sheeran. <laughs> uh, your end button is not screwed in Oh. For your strap button. This is your strap button. Oh. And then that friction fits in. Oh. Um, I wonder, I wonder how Diet Pepsi works as a... Looks nice. Looks fresh. That looks as, like a fresh coating right there. As a, as a fretboard. All right, Pepsi. I'm just saying. Sponsors anywhere. We'll take anything we Di- can. Diet Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, but what scares me... Is it... Is all of that crud that came off oh, because look of the, the Pepsi. cleaning, bro. That's clean and potential. Uh, uh, <laughs> music Nomad, we may rescind our request with you. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, you know what? We found a better one. All right, Diet Pepsi. We, uh, we'll, we'll clean a whole guitar fretboard with it. <laughs> we might, actually. That, <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Like and subscribe. If we get 500 likes on this video, awesome. If we get 500 likes on this video, we will clean a whole fretboard with Diet Pepsi. Yeah, it looks pretty promising. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's it a, yes, the, the, the effects may actually um, surprise all of us. <laughs> I'll tell you what. 500 likes will clean a fretboard. Yeah. You give us 10,000 likes, mm-hmm. I will actually go buy a brand new guitar, and we will clean the fretboard and do all the dressing out of the box and set up. With Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. <laughs> I'm not. I am not promising it'll be an expensive guitar. I'm <laughs> oh, just no, promising no. I will buy a guitar. When you put a pin in, there is a slot in your pin. Mm-hmm. We've digressed so much. It's so fun. That's good. Um, that slot is going to face forward. Some people slide it in with. I don't. I slide our string in. Can you pull it up? And then I slide my pin in. I pull up. There. We're tense now. Yeah. You don't have to hammer that mother father in. And now look at it. <laughs> We're playing guitar. What's this for? But we'll do a full dressing and everything like you said. And possibly cleaning with Diet Pepsi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> depending on the... Uh... Yeah, depending on the you know, likes and stuff. Yeah. Yes. We do have some work coming in. Uh, I've got to get in contact with a friend. 
who's having an electrical issue oh, yeah. on their Apepa phone, which are notorious DIGs. They're notorious for ground issues. And anybody who's not a guitar tech, fight me in the comments about that, because I will challenge you until the day <laughs> I die, which I think there's an emo song in there. Till the day I die. I will get for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? I was going to recommend uh, saving some of those pins for backups in case one breaks, uh -huh. but hell no. Yeah, no, they're all bent up. Um, they are bent, they are broken, and for the $7 it cost for these pins, you can go for it fancier, you can go less fancy. We went the non-fancy because, like Alex said, he doesn't use this a lot. Yeah, not, not, a, not a lot. Um, so there's no reason to go completely fancy if it's not going to be used. In this case, uh, the affordable option is good. Yes. Um, I believe we will be doing a video in the future when I do a, a setup uh, on my acoustic guitar. Now, yeah. I am changing my end pins because I primarily play <laughs> my acoustic a lot more. Yeah, nice one. Um, and I am going to change from the plastic. Actually, I don't even think they're plastic. I think they're carbon fiber on that. All right. Um, but I'm going to change to the ebony mm -hmm. with the abalone inlays on them. All right. Because it just looks fancy. And for those who don't know what abalone yeah. is... Um, abalone is made by Oscar Mayer. You put it between two pieces of bread with some American <laughs> cheese. And what do you have in abalone sandwich? Abalone no. Sandwich. Oh, yeah. no, abalone <laughs> is actually the um, inside of, I believe, oyster or clam shell. All right. Oysters. It's the shell on the inside of it. That's why when you get a piece of abalone, no two pieces of abalone ever look alike. And you can even get pieces of abalone cut from the same um, shellfish, and it doesn't look alike. <laughs> or I don't know if any guitar companies out there would like to contact us. Uh, if you make a seven-string acoustic, you will be my new friend. Um, I need a seven-string. I've there's uh, one on sale right now. At um, the center that we can't name. Yeah. Uh, it is a used one. It's on sale for three hundred and thirty dollars. I'm just gonna get a cheap Amazon one. Why get a cheap Amazon one for two hundred bucks if you want to go low cost? Uh, Jackson. Jackson does make some cheap ones. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> dink the the dinky model in the seven string is one ninety nine brand new. Unless Jackson would like to send us one yeah. for reviews, we will accept them. Yes, I will invest it in all the drops. <laughs> yes, and, and I will um, look at it and maybe start hurting. <laughs> yes, and then if um, Jackson would like to, you know, stop their production lines. And figure out a way to make a seven-string acoustic. I'm there. <laughs> we think we're going to have to do some neck adjustment on this. Just to preface, I do have the fun ruler. I don't remember who made this for me, but this was actually somebody custom machined that for me. Out of a piece of aluminum. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, aluminum. <laughs> keep it up. So this is Captain America. <laughs> Captain America's shield was made out of aluminium? No, it was made out of, uh, uh, shit is, uh... Yeah, I thought that was made out of, like... The shit from Wakanda, that stuff. Yeah. Y yeah. The, the shit Vibranium. from... Vibranium. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Unobtainium. Like a motorcycle throttle. <laughs> Like how each string the wrapping got progressively better, and then that E string is just looking rough. 
not the top E. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Down here? Down to look at here? It's you, pretty. You, you, you want that fix? <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to string shame the guy with arthritis. Hey, there's the, the, the last four. I just punched gonna... myself in the nuts about six times on that. I don't think I, don't think I can take you up a fishing channel if you're going to reel and put this up in the dick. <laughs> Actually, no, that's great content. We're going to bring you in. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say. Hook you into a big fish where you have to, you know, crotch, crotch saddle it and just watch oh. you wail your nuts. <laughs> well, that's just not polite. I'm going to put it on your thigh and just reel. Whap, whap, whap. It's not my fault. When you get old, certain parts of your anatomy. <laughs> is that better? Yeah. I mean... I'm loving that phone coming going off at just the perfect timing. <laughs> Dude, always, always. Oh, yeah. I love that Google without song. <laughs> For all the haters, Nickelback. Which is sad because I actually like Nickelback. Oh, everyone's a liar. They don't sell out every time if everyone hates them. <laughs> right? I and I'm not lying. I, I am a Nickelback and a Creed fan. Yes. So 100%. what we're going to do really quick, ladies and gentlemen, is we're gonna take a quick break. Yeah, I don't like this thing. Shitty. So, ladies and gentlemen. This video will be continued in the future. Um, like and subscribe if you think we're idiots. We know we are, but it's cool. Um, after I go yell at some people at guitar stores and whatnot. <laughs> Until then, have a very nice day.